Hey, what's up? It's Kathy, and I'm back with another process video. This time for uh, Just Nick Studio Cut File Shop, um, and the link will be in the description below. So I do kind of apologize. Uh, I watched this video, and I did notice I, I tried to tweak the colors. Um, I don't. I think it was because I was filming this in later, like late afternoon, and uh, it's the. This, it's the season where um, it's like nighttime at 4, <laughs> at 4 p.m. And it, it, yeah, so basically the sun was almost setting even though I was filming this in the afternoon. So the colors are a lot more yellow and orange, um, like this, the lighting. And uh, yeah, it just kind of was a little bit different than what I'm used to. So I'm going to have to figure out exactly my lighting situation seems to be kind of okay. It was okay in the summer, but uh, seems to be a little different now. So, okay, back to actual explaining of stuff. <laughs> uh, background paper is, uh, I believe it's from the Poolside Collection from Crate Paper from last summer. I just have some of the random papers that I liked. And um, these are from the Wonder Collection, which is also Crate Paper. And the theme this month or this week for us was thankful. And I'm Canadian, so we don't celebrate Thanksgiving at the same time as the Americans celebrate Thanksgiving. So I kind of, and I don't even take a lot of pictures for Thanksgiving because we basically just go somewhere and, and eat turkey. So um, it's a little different for us. It's not as big for me as it is in the States. Um, it's not a big holiday, at least here. Uh, for us, for me personally, so I don't take any pictures. But I wanted to kind of just think about the things that I, you know, stop and kind of help calm me or things that I love about this kind of time of year. And uh, it is transitioning into winter now for us, but uh, the leaves are still changed and there's still quite a few around. And I took this picture. And I took the picture, I think, the day I did the scrapbook, uh, the scrapbook page. And I tweaked it a little, and I just loved how it turned out. And uh, I decided first that I wanted to go minimal with my layout. And, which is different for me. And second, that um, you can see that I'm playing around with a leaf paper, and it's from a 6x6 paper pad from, I think, Echo Park. It's either, yeah, I think it's Echo Park. But it's one of the fall ones that came out uh, this year. And uh, I'm playing around with it, and I decide in the end not to go with any papers that are themed. So no leaves, no anything like that. I went completely different um, than what I was expecting to kind of do. And I really like how it turned out. I just kind of picked papers that I liked that matched, that were kind of funky together. I wanted to draw in the red from the picture. And I love that, that red that's in the background. It's like a geometric. I wanted to draw in from the blues. Um, I just wanted lots of pattern going on. So... Uh, but very minimal, like I don't put a lot of embellishing on the the title, which is from the cut file, um, It's Fall, Y'all, I think is what it's called, or It's Fall or something like that. Um, it had a bunch of different ones like Autumn Splendor, and it had this one that said Colored Leaves, and I just liked it, and wanted to use a nice big title because I don't often print out huge titles and I didn't do anything special with it like I could have embossed it or something like that but I liked the simplicity of just it in white and I didn't back any of the leaves that were part of the part of the title or anything like that I'm just kind of fiddling around and I decide to put some paper on one side and I chop some paper in half and then keep it together I don't know I just it just looked interesting to me. It just it wasn't just a piece of paper. It was two pieces and they were moved and yeah, I don't prop anything up on foam. I keep it really simple. This is different for me. Usually I'm all about 
how much I can fit in <laughs> in one layout. Um, but yeah, there's the nice big title, and I love that. And yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't back the any of it. Um, and I like how much it was going over the picture too. Like I didn't put it below the picture; I put it right on top of the picture, and I really like how that turned out too. It's kind of popping out through it and and everything. Um, it's just, I don't know, it was really interesting. And I didn't, I do, you see me kind of bring in some, these leaves from the Maggie Holmes um, Gather collection. And I was thinking, I was going to try to use them, but I decide not to. And I decide not to use anything that's, as I said, that's themed. And I really like how that turned out. It was different. It was, it was not so matchy-matchy. I, I know that, uh, there are certain collections that are really popular right now that people are using, and I love them. But I uh, I wanted to go back into some of the other collections that I have, and my, one of my favorite collections uh, so far ever has been the Wonder Collection. So that's where I got some of my main papers from. And see, I was trying that flower, and then I realized I wanted to keep, like... If I put it on one side, then I had to put something on the other side, and then it got kind of, well, like, what am I going to put on the other side? And the flower had, like, bronze in it, and if I did that, then I needed to bring that in somewhere else. So I grabbed this uh, little banner, and I believe that is also from the Wonder Collection chipboard. And I just liked how it just kind of plopped there. I think I do try to move it and consider going somewhere else with it. And I end up just leaving it where it was. I went off to see about any ephemera that I wanted or other chipboard. I do bring in a few more pieces of, yeah, see, there's those leaves. And they're beautiful. And I will be using them on something eventually. But I'm going to move away from uh, fall stuff for now and probably into uh, holiday stuff. But, I mean, I do love those leaves. But, obviously, it just didn't work with the design I had in mind. And, uh, yeah, it just, it wasn't quite what I wanted. And I, I do keep that heart. I just move it. And I, I do bring in a few little pieces of chipboard that are from a collection that, it's not really a collection. It's, I think it's, um, I think it's just like a Becky Higgins Project Life line. So I do end up bringing that in. I, th I thought about putting the heart in the middle and all this stuff and, I don't really end up doing any of that either and I'm minimal is uh is tricky because you want to add more but you have to kind of go with that mantra that like less is more and a big part of me is always like more is more so <laughs> so it was tricky but yeah I just bring in a few of these little chipboard pieces that one says favorite and I loved the the designs on it and this one just says little moments and I want to remember and I just thought that really captured my thought process you know about the picture and why I was scrapbooking a picture of leaves that have none of my kids in them or anything like that but it's really important to me because this, this is uh, fall and autumn I, as we call it um, is one of my favorite times of the year and it means a lot to me and it's it's quite important for me to do as much in that season as I can. Uh, same with the holiday season. But uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to capture that in the scrapbook. And I really love how the cut file kind of just played in there and how it just kind of scrolls across the photo and it works so perfectly. Um, so I've brought in a little bit of gold on the top and the bottom, and I'm going to add in a ton of Heidi Swap gold color shine. But yeah, like this is a super simple layout, and I love it, and I'm having fun experimenting and everything. So I hope you guys enjoy experimenting with me, and I'll see you in the next video, and uh, pictures are coming up. So bye!